So whenever I have like these urges, I found myself praying, asking God, you know, instead of me being embarrassed or ashamed of the fact that I'm having these desires, I'll pray. Now I'll be like, God, you know what? I can't hide it from you. This is the feeling that I'm having. You told me I could come to you for all things. Horniness included, okay? I always know that. Hey. You got to roll. Here we go. What's up, y'all? So, really quickly, I wanted to come on here and talk about the fast. So, today is the last day of the fast, which is April the 29th. The day is not over yet. There's still time. But I just want to talk to y'all about, like, literally how God has just blew my mind within these last 21 days, okay? So, y'all already know, the first week was so tough for me for this fast. Y'all know my bank account got hacked. Um, somebody I know stole from me. Um, then I had to uh, deal with burying my nephew. Then uh, some a little bit of car issues. Um, it was it was it was tough, but literally the following week on Monday, I started getting opportunity deals like from out of nowhere regarding my social media platforms. You guys, like I got an offer for coach. Um, unfortunately, unfortunately, um, the the um I don't know what to call her. But the agent that works for Coach, she ended up sending me the deal too late. So by the time it was time for me to turn the content in, it was already closed. So when she sent me the opportunity, she sent it, she sent me the opportunity literally like a day or two days before it closed. So that was the issue on why that fell through. But just to have that opportunity within itself is just crazy to me. So I got so many opportunity, branding opportunities. And I, when I tell y'all, like, I am so grateful that I stuck this out and I stuck it through because it was extremely, I, wanna, I don't want to say it was extremely hard, but y'all, I'm not going to lie. It was hard. Um, there were a couple areas that I did fail in. You know, I'm, I will admit, I would say I failed as far as, like, the phone area. Um, I was still talking on my phone I was kind of failing a little bit with social media um I would catch myself like starting to scroll and then I'd be like no Brittany get off get off but overall I can honestly say I stuck to the fast I stuck to the vows that I told God that I would do um I did repent and apologize about the social media and the phone I am going to do better next time but I am extremely proud and happy i do feel closer to god um every, some things are still a struggle for me and you know we all have our flaws we all have the things that are thorns in our side but god said he will give us grace and mercy that we may get through them so i'm gonna stick beside him i'm gonna stick beside i'm gonna stick beside the lord okay so but um <laughs> But no, I am so appreciative to just have life. Like now I even find myself just randomly praying throughout the day. So before it was like prayer wasn't even a, it was like, it, it didn't really cross my mind. Like it would cross my mind, but it wasn't something that was always constant. How the scriptures tell us to pray without ceasing. ceasing. It wasn't something like that. It was like, you know, of course, if you go through something, Lord help. And depending on the issue is if you want to cry for help or not, let's be real. But most of all, like now, like I'm praying when I wake up. I'm just praying through random times throughout the day. Um, and I found myself, and don't get me wrong, I'm going to be honest. Um, like now when I have certain issues, like where I want to have sex or something like that, I'll pray and be like, God, help me. Help me to wait on the man that you have for me. Help me to be patient. Help me to respect my body and to cherish my body and to honor. What was that? Y'all didn't see that just fly across? I just saw something just fly across. I 
I don't know what that was, but I'm gonna get back. Um, but yeah, so what I started to do instead of me finding shame and things like desiring sex, I was married for a really long time, okay? And to just go from getting it to not getting it, baby, it's a struggle, okay? It's a, <laughs> it's a struggle. So, <laughs> so, um, you know, whenever I have like these urges, I found myself praying, asking God, you know, instead of me being embarrassed or ashamed of the fact that I'm having these desires, I'll pray. Now I'll be like, God, you know what? I can't hide it from you. This is the feeling that I'm having. You told me I could come to you for all things. Horniness included, okay? <laughs> so now I'm praying and I'm asking God, like, look, Lord, I need you to help me through this. Because your girl got needs, okay? And I want to honor you. And I want to honor the scriptures. I want to honor your word. I want to honor the man that you have for me. I don't want to just be out here just giving my body to anybody. So, when I have, you know, things like that. I've been praying that some God to help me work through it. Or when I found myself wanting to be on social media and stuff like that. God help me to remember that I'm doing this for you for and to be closer to you. And you guys, I did not fast because... I'm like, okay, God, I need you to do this. I need you to do that. I, I went on this fast because I needed to be closer to God. I have gotten too comfortable with sin. Whoo! I got too comfortable. I got to the point to where it wasn't even up. It didn't even hurt me. I didn't even feel convicted anymore. And I knew the things I was doing was wrong. And it wasn't that I didn't care. It was, I don't know what it was, but I got comfortable. And the more I got comfortable with sinning, the more I found myself away from God. So that was the reason why I went on the fast. Because God said, if you seek me, you will find me. So I went seeking for help. I went seeking for God. And I found him. You guys, I am, I am so grateful. And in the process of finding him, I also found a possible new church home for me and my kids. My daughters decided to give their life over to God during this fast. It was amazing, guys. It was, it was truly amazing. And I'm grateful and I'm thankful I am blessed. I am so grateful. And I'm going to, this is not going to be the last fast of this year. I'm going to continue to fast and make sure I keep God at the center. The center, the front, the back, the left, the right. I'm going to make sure I keep God in my life. And I'm going to make sure I keep God on the pedestal that he deserves to be on. And I'm going to make sure that I make him a priority. Um, everything does not change overnight. It doesn't. I, I have to continue to put in the hard work and the effort for our relationship. And I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to girl, child, I'm going to stick beside him. I'm going to stick beside him, okay? But I just wanted to give you guys this update on how my fast went. It was nothing short of amazing. I am grateful for the ups and the downs. God continues to keep me. He's kept my family. And I am extremely fortunate and blessed. And I, I thank God. I thank God. I thank, thank God so much. Just thank him. But I hope you guys were encouraged. Let me know how y'all did. So let me know if you struggled with something or if you fell in certain areas, if you succeeded at all. 
if you did it for a day or two days but you ended up quitting it don't matter let me know let me know and i want to thank y'all for rocking out with me i pray that you guys be blessed and encouraged this will be the first of many okay but i will talk to y'all next time bye yeah, yeah.